talking about the auto industry now. When it took a hit a few years ago, a single mother from Macomb lost her job. But she had an idea and a plan B, and now after five years, Stephen Clark has her story. It's at your desk or whatever. Mary Lou Palazzolo is a single mother who, like so many a couple of years ago, lost her job in the auto industry. But you could say her future is in the bag. You know, this isn't a purse. It's a lunch bag. And I transformed an idea into a product, and I called it Pronzo Bags. Like so many great ideas, Mary Lou's sprang from necessity. Well, I was working in a corporate office, one of the big three, and uh, the refrigerators were just crowded with bags. Mary Lou's Farmer Jack's grocery bag was lost in the mess. And the only lunch boxes she'd ever seen looked like a Barbie doll case or a tackle box. I said, God, if someone would just make one that's a little more fashionable, it looks like a purse, and would have a cross body strap so we could carry our laptops in and, you know, maybe have it in different colors, I'd buy one. And that's when I went, ding. So the Pronzo bag was born. Oh, you could carry it as a purse, you could put medications. Anything that needs to be kept cold or refrigerated. If the ice pack is frozen, whatever's in it can stay cold for about eight to nine hours at least. Trouble is, she needs to find a Michigan manufacturing company to mass produce the bags and bring the price into the $40 range. And I can do that and go offshore, but I really don't want to, and it, it's so complicated importing products. So you want to make this a Michigan product? I would like to. So what do you need then? A sewing company. A local sewing company. Mm -hmm. In two weeks, Mary Lou is scheduled to go to an inventor's convention where she'll pitch the Pronzo bag to some of the biggest distributors on earth, including QVC and Rubbermaid and even Shark Tank. If you're a Michigan manufacturer, now's the time to get on board. Stephen Clark, 7 Action News.